It's about our city. It's a celebration of Melbourne. It's a celebration of cultural icons. This kind of great story about art and love and ownership and betrayal on the banks of the river in Melbourne. Ambitious, epic and oceanic. Learning about the art world and telling a Melbourne story is so eye-opening. Complicated in that it's you know, it's complicated sort of thing. The writing is excellent. Anthony Way's uh, created a beautiful piece of work. What is unique about how Anthony has reimagined this story is that he's put Sunday at the very centre of the story. She is a mid-century woman ahead of her time with a vision for a new way of living and loving with a group of artists resisting preconceived ideas of what it was to be a woman at that time. She really encouraged artists to step outside of that kind of Greek belief in rationale and uh, reason and to go for impulse and organic responses. It was radical for the times and it's still radical today. She's led by her senses through the piece and you get the sense that she's avoiding something or she's traveling towards something that is both a source of deep love and deep pain. That's freed it up from being biographical theatre. My role is John Reed. He founded Heidi, which was this uh, property that he bought along with Sunday. And they developed into a kind of uh, what you would call, I suppose, an arts commune. And they developed and supported some of our finest artists. The character I'm playing is Sidney Nolan. Sir Sidney Nolan is one of the most prolific artists that has come out of Australia and his growth through his 20s and his relationship with the Reeds out at Heidelberg where he paints some of the most famous paintings today such as the Ned Kelly series. The mythology of the play is supported through the colours that I've chosen for this show. I have abstracted the design by pushing into colours that are not really realistic. They're not period accurate. I really immerse myself in Sidney Nolan's paintings. Every scene has very specific colour combination that I've tried to achieve and those reflected in some of the paintings of Nolan's that I found that I love the most. What this creative team is doing is reaching for a form of theatre that is exciting and dangerous and innovative. The piece is sort of like a magic box in a way, that things and memories sort of appear before her and then disappear. It's not a literal space, so it really is driven by light and language. The piece also has this wonderful uh, letterbox on the back wall, which is the Sidney Noll and Ned Kelly aperture that Anna came up with in which the titles come. I play Sweeney Reed, the adoptive son of John and Sunday Reed. He loves John and Sunday. They're his support network there. He looks up to them. It's not your traditional love story. There's a lot of ins and outs to it and it's very intriguing what, what the different characters do and, it, then, and it's quite easy to forget that these are real people, you know, because it is a very intricate story. There's a lot of intrigue about Sunday and John's love life and about how it was quite unconventional. Uh, they had what we would call today an open marriage. I really think that what's more interesting is just about people who are living an unconventional life. Really trying to make the place that they live in, Heidelberg, this commune, the centre of their universe. How do I articulate joy? God. It's crazy because Joy is so much like me. <laughs> I find that really scary. I'm playing this gutsy, bold woman who was seen as being an outcast. She was, you know, a pencil drawer and not someone who, who did a lot of like oil paintings. So she, at the time of her doing that, people were judging her for, for doing that. But now we celebrate her being an artist, just not by drawing, but also being a poet as well, so she just did whatever she wanted to do. People will sit in the theatre for this show and feel a part of a mythology of Melbourne. It's an opportunity to celebrate it outside the constraints of um, all the facts. 